On today's video, we're going to be talking about how to sell shoes in Canada to make a profit on eBay. Let's get started. What's going on guys, it's Jamie. Welcome to the channel Thrift on Fire. Like I said in the intro, today we're gonna to be talking about selling shoes in Canada on eBay. Um, you can use the same model on other platforms. Uh, me in particular, I only sell shoes on eBay. So that's what we're gonna be talking about. So now the two things we're gonna worry about is buy cost of the shoes and shipping. Because those are gonna be the two factors that come into play that determine whether you're gonna make money on your shoes or not. Um, so for me personally in Canada, I'm in Ontario, I charge $15 flat anywhere across Canada for shipping, and I usually use about $20 in the US, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, so here in, in Ontario, Canada, uh, if you live in Ontario and I'm shipping to Ontario, it might be $11, could be a little more depending if it's a boot instead of a shoe. Um, and if you're from the east or the west or you know further away, it might cost me $16, $17. Uh, so it averages out for me personally about $15 and I think anywhere in Canada you could probably use the same type of logic. Um, so I'm going to build this all into the price of the shoe. Okay, as an example, let's use these Brooks. So these are just Brooks Rival 4s. I bought them at Salvation Army for $7. So with the $15 shipping and the $7, I'm into them $22. So anything over $22 is profit. Now, um, for me personally, I want to make at least a 50% return on my investment. So I have to be looking for shoes that are worth, you know, in this case, around $50 to make about $20, $25 profit, right? Um, in the case of these Brooks, uh, I think I have a sold, there's a sold comps, comp for something similar. It's $75. Uh, new, that's used, new in box is about 120 to 80. Um, you know, they vary. If you got like funky patterns, they're more, but you look up the comps of the shoes and essentially these ones are worth about $70. So with these particular shoes, um, after, not after fees, but after everything's sold, there's $48 profit, less fees, right? So I'm gonna have to pay eBay fees on, on that, obviously, um, but that's, you know, my cost of goods is already in there, my shipping's in there, so eBay fees might be a couple bucks. I'm probably still gonna make like 44 to $45 on these shoes, and that's a pretty good pickup. So that's what I like to do. I like to just take the, the, cost of, the cost of goods and the shipping and roll it right into the product. So when I list these shoes, um, if I pull my listing up here, now I just listed these shoes the other day for $70 free shipping, okay? So that's gonna give me the ability to make $48, like I said, less fees off of these particular shoes. So when you're outsourcing, you just keep in mind, or me personally, I just keep in mind $15 shipping, whatever the buy cost is, and then you look at sold comps and you try to determine whether there's enough profit there to still buy the shoes. Now, is it okay to buy shoes um, at the same buy cost and make less money? Absolutely, it really depends on the person. I like to try to make about 50%, and I would say my average buy cost for shoes is $8. Sometimes I buy shoes at the Goodwill bins for next to nothing, and in that case, I can sell shoes for like $35 free shipping and still make profit if I'm paying you know, $2 to $3 for the shoes. Um, but if you're paying about $8, you probably are gonna wanna be looking for shoes that are gonna sell for around $50. So for another example, I bought these Converse for $5. They were pretty dirty. I ran them through the wash machine, cleaned everything up, there's still a little bit of staining here. I don't know if you can see it, but they do overall look really nice. Uh, and these particular Converse are not made in the USA. They are just made in China, men's size eight. Really cool, still pretty desirable. Like I said, I only paid $5. So basically, if you use my logic here, $15 shipping in Canada, $5 buy cost from Salvation Army. Um, so I'm into them, $20. And I think I have these particular ones listed for, I think $45, yeah, $45 free shipping. So, you know, I'm gonna make $25 on these shoes when they do sell, less eBay fees, obviously, like I said. Um, so that's, that's my model, it's a really easy model. Um, you pretty much are just building in the cost of the shoes and the shipping, and you can offer free shipping. Um, now, the one thing I will say about this is, because we're in Canada, or I'm in Canada, this is the way that I need to do it to sell shoes for a profit. You know, in the US, they're gonna be making more money on this shoe, and the reason being is their shipping is gonna be much cheaper. I believe in the US, it's probably like $8 or something to, to, to ship these shoes. I could be wrong. If you're from the US and, and you know exactly how much it is to ship 
choose roughly, let me know. But I do believe a lot of people send them priority or something like that. And I think it's pretty cheap. And prices did go up and our prices in Canada are gonna go up too uh, in 2020 as we come to the end of the year. But you know, there's nothing we can do about that. So basically if I'm gonna ship shoes to the US, what I do, just so you can see, these same shoes are free shipping in Canada. Um, and it actually doesn't show on here. So $45 free shipping in Canada. Uh, in the US, I charge um, $7. So free shipping in Canada on my shoes, $7 in the US. Um, so that brings my shipping costs in the US up to, what is it, five, uh, $20, $22, I guess, something like that. If I'm, if I'm wrong, you can roast me in the comments. Um, so yeah, $22, build that in. And then when I sell it, my profit stays the same. Like if somebody's in, so I'm in Ontario, somebody's in New York State, it probably is not gonna be more than $20. So maybe 20 to $21. Um, and if they're like out in say California or somewhere out west like that or further away, it's probably gonna cost me about 23 to $24. So I'm actually still gonna lose a little bit on that. It sounds like, it sounds like, oh, potentially I'd be making more money on shipping there, but truly I'm not. Uh, shipping it in Canada to the US is pretty pricey. So these are just some of the shoes I have listed. Um, I have some listed on the top row, some here in the bottom row, some shoes sitting in the corner. Uh, over here, I've got a couple just bins full of shoes listed. Um, and I believe, Somewhere down here, there's another couple shoes. Yeah, down here, I got some more shoes. Well, that's basically it. There's no exact magic formula here. It's obviously a key of buy low, sell high. Um, looking up comps on eBay, staying away from generic and lower brands. Obviously, I'm looking for uh, Nike, New Balance, um, you know, Jordans. Let's just take a look here. These are one-off Vans, right? Like these have got cool patterns. I'd pick up these Vans. Saucony is a good brand, depending. Um, you know, oh, these ones are cool. They're Gore-Tex. I've had them for a while. I'm going to have to figure out exactly price-wise. I thought they were going to be big money. I think they're going to be still over $100, so good money. Um, sometimes Skechers, like these are some, some interesting Skechers here. More Nikes. I think these are Merrells. No, these are the Timberlands. Uh, here's another unique pair of Converse, some more Jordans, <laughs> some New Balance, uh, Timberlands, some more Sauconies, these ones are Merrells, uh, more Sauconies, uh, Skechers, these are the, uh, the Shape Ups, um, I just sold a pair of Shape Ups last week, I think, uh, they don't sell well for me, but when they do sell, they do sell for around 50 bucks, and you can usually pick them up pretty cheap. Figured we end the video with just a few tips on selling shoes. Um, so first of all, like I said, you need to have valuable shoes. So you're gonna wanna look up your comps always on shoes. Don't just pick something up because they look cool because you never know, they might not be worth anything. And then sometimes if you see a good brand in bad condition, still look them up, they could be worth more than you think. Uh, next off, condition. So I just said maybe pick them up in bad condition. Probably don't though. <laughs> so you're going to want to look for shoes that are in good condition that are going to use need minimal cleaning it's not a big deal if they're just dirty and you need to throw them in the wash machine if they're like just a, a canvas shoe or something um but if you got to spend a lot of time cleaning it you know i would say profits over projects right like i know we've all heard that before but you don't want to spend an insane amount of time cleaning shoes to make you know minimal profit if the shoe's in bad shape you're not going to have an easy time selling it so you're looking for shoes that are definitely in pretty good shape. Um, the next thing I would say is the bottom. So even if the tops look really good, always make sure there's not too much wear on the bottoms because especially if you're buying like a, a training or a running shoe and someone's ran in them a ton, you don't want them to be all beat up on the bottom because you know they're gonna be upset when they get them. Uh, and the other thing you wanna do is make sure you take quality pictures. So everybody wants to see all four sides of the shoes um, I try to show the tag when I can, if it's in an easy spot to access. You wanna show the bottom. And the other thing that's usually important is the, the toe. If your toe has any sort of um, glue issue where it's coming unglued a little bit, you just wanna show that in the pictures and in the description, list any flaws. So if there are flaws in the shoes that you think will be could be an issue, definitely put them in the description. That way the buyers can at least be aware of the conditions of the shoes.
All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you're a viewer of the channel, I'm sorry I've took, I took a couple months off here. Um, I've been really busy, end of summer, so much going on. Uh, I did a live stream not too long ago and I talked about starting YouTube back up. Um, I do plan on keeping my, my channel uh, more current here in the future. It does take time and I appreciate anybody for watching or commenting. I've been getting, you know, I, I actually took a big enough break and I went back and I seen all the comments and, and the love I was getting and, and I felt, I felt kind of kind of bad that I wasn't making content. I'm uh, making content obviously to, for myself to follow, follow so I can look back and follow the journey that I've been on reselling on eBay and other platforms. But you know, I'm also doing this for the viewers, people, anybody who's watching. Um, if I can help you in any way, I, I'm very happy to do it. If you have any questions at all, you can try to reach me on Instagram. It's probably the easiest thing. It's just at Thrift on Fire. Um, yeah, and, and, I, and I really like hearing from you guys. So, you know, until next time, guys, take care, stay safe. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.